What's that sound? It's the Diadem Hush Paddle. Ushering in a new technology, Diadem aims to make the quietest paddle available. To achieve this, Diadem creates a depression in the paddle for a flush-mounted ETPU sound dampening face. Inside the paddle is a honeycomb core. The hush is also elongated at 16.5 inches long with an 18 millimeter thickness, and it tips the scales at an average weight of 8.15 ounces. All right, Jay, I think we need to start with the obvious. It's called the Hush. They're trying to make a quiet paddle. So what did you think of the sound? Yeah, right when I took it out on court, uh, I immediately noticed that this is a quieter paddle. It is definitely true. I felt like this new material in the face not only helps absorb the pace of the ball, but also absorbs sound as well. What'd you thought? Yeah, same. Uh, it definitely has a unique sound. It's not totally silent, but it doesn't have that same sound you would be from most other paddles. There's also a nice texture to this. Mm -hmm. Now, I can feel a little bit of a seam here, and I was a little bit worried, I have to say, that if I miss hit toward the edge, that I was gonna notice it like shooting off to the side or something like that, but it wasn't any different for me than if I was hitting the edge guard of a, any other paddle. For me too, I did notice the texture of this. Like you, I thought it absorbed pace well. It also delivered some pace as well and gripped the ball really well. Did you notice how the spin was for you? Yeah, I thought the spin was really, really good with this. Um, I was a little skeptical because we're so used to like the raw carbon face paddles, but this one, it really does grip the ball well. As for the power, yeah, I thought it was a very powerful paddle, not because it has necessarily a lot of pop off of the face, but it, I think it has a lot of mass based power. It feels very head heavy to me. And so it, once you get the paddle going, it delivers a lot of pop. Yeah, agreed. Uh, 8.15 ounces isn't really a super heavy paddle. It's right around what I like to use anyway, but I did notice a lot of that weight was also in the head and I was needing to use that spin to keep the ball in. If I was hitting from the back of the court, uh, some of my balls were going long initially, so I was really emphasizing the spin. And because of that weight, when I was up at net, I did notice it was a little bit hard for me to roll volleys and quick reflex shots uh, on the backhand side in particular. So instead of rolling them like I've been trying to work on, I was trying to cut under the ball because I was dumping a lot of those rolling backhands into the net. Yeah, uh, we agree again. I thought up at the no volley zone, it was just a little bit sluggish for me. Uh, it wasn't as effective on those quick firefights that we like to get into sometimes. So definitely felt like I just had to play a different type of game up there, but I'd really loved it for singles. From the baseline, I felt like I could deliver a big shot on my ground strokes from the forehand and from the backhand side. Yeah, for me, I really liked it at singles as well, but I really loved it on my serve. I was getting some nice deep shots on my serve, also some good spin and depth, so I felt good there. I wanted to mention the handle. I really like this handle size and I thought the grip, I could hold it well and I could move my grip around comfortably and I and had no issues with sweating with this one either. Yeah, I think it's a, a quality, high performance feeling grip. Uh, it's a, overall a really just high performance feeling paddle, really well built. So yeah, I think we really enjoyed this paddle. It's unique and it's definitely something that you should definitely try to find out for yourself the, the difference between the Hush and most traditional other paddles. And that wraps up our review of the Diadem Hush paddle. For more information on this paddle or anything else pickleball related, be sure to check us out at pickleballwarehouse.com. And if you're down under, make sure you go to totalpickleball.com.au.